Welcome to the home of Corinthian Casuals FC, the club responsible for one of Brazil's biggest teams, Corinthians Paulista. In homage to their South American friends, we've come up with the Brazil Legends Challenge. For each task completed, we get to enhance our match day experience. The first challenge is the Pele 7. All I need to do is keep the ball up with my right foot, left, right knee, left knee, right shoulder, left shoulder, and then head. I've got three attempts to complete this challenge, and if we do it, we get to buy a match day program. Attempt number one. Oh, that's terrible. Look like I've never played football before. Really want to do it. While I'm off celebrating, here's some quick fire facts about the casuals. Before the Corinthians and the Casuals merged together in 1939, Corinthians FC were regarded as the best team in the world. Corinthians FC were a bunch of amateurs with a galaxy of talent that travelled the world playing football. They were so popular, Real Madrid even adopted their famous white shirt. I mean, this one's pink and brown, but the olden days it was white. But it doesn't end there. After a trip to Sao Paulo in Brazil, the locals loved it so much, they set up their own club. Corinthians Paulista. First challenge completed means we can buy ourselves a match day programme and here it is in all its glory. Absolutely wonderful. How much do I owe you sir? Two pounds. Two pounds fifty. Tap on the thing. Job done. She's a good one. Challenge number two is the Ronaldinho crossbar challenge. We all remember the Nike advert. Ronaldinho was playing keepy uppies with the crossbar. I'm not good enough to do that, but I do have three attempts to smash the crossbar and win Lavers his lunch at half time. please <laughs> on the topic of brazilian legends we want you to get involved and tell us who makes your all-time brazilian five a side team i'll go first Dida in goal roberto carlos kaka ronaldinho and ronaldo if you disagree with that team let me know below but we want to hear from you guys brazilians are known for their pre-match music so let's see what the casuals are listening to before the game right now i've got a bit of afro beats going on but i know the boys like to put on a bit of house music a bit of everything to be honest i like the old school music like a bit of marvin Gaye and stuff like that but then obviously drake and all the mainstream artists right now as well so what kind of music do you listen to before you're about to walk out meek mill dream chasers that's a good song to have on before we used to play the young bane and kojo fun song it was like a ritual before every game the year we got promoted so I was told by Stu that uh, you're quite the MC. I d I'm not quite the MC, I've just done my initiation where I've done a, a little freestyle by myself. It's because i got the afro man, it's all up in my system. Don't give me any beat or hit me up with instrumentals. Follow me into the booth so you can watch and hear me kiss. <laughs> When you stepped into my vision, welcome to the party, take a seat and have a listen. To be honest, I think it was probably the best initiation I've seen at the club. And here's what the rest listen to. Soul music, rare grooves, and Motown soul. It's calm and it's soft, it's not blurry loud. What do you make of all the noise next door? Sometimes I understand what's going on. Maybe a bit of uh, Motown will calm them down. So this is challenge three, Ronaldo's Nothing But Net. Tyler here from the Corinthian Casuals has got to try and kick the ball into the back of the net without it bouncing from various stages on the pitch. For each stage completed, we get some money to spend in the club shop. Tyler, how are you feeling? Pretty confident. He's been it's limbering up. Stiff. <laughs> pretty stiff. What position are you? Selling mid. So you're used to spraying the ball about. It's going to be easy. Don't put pressure on. No pressure. Right, first one, Tyler, from the six yard box. It's £2.50. Nice and easy. And all your spot. This adds another £2.50. Love it, Tyler. Edge of the box now, another £2.50. £7.50 in the kitty. This is for a tenner. Beautiful. Take it Take that. that, yeah. It's starting to get a little bit expensive now. Impressed. Get a peek. Easy, easy for him. <laughs> Next time I'll see you look how to do it, I'll show you. Bring it in Tyler, bring it in. So we're inside the club shop here, we've got £12.50, we've got a little care package coming our way. We have got a mug, that's £5. Two badges. Two badges, different ones, ones. Corinthian Casuals and Corinthians Palace is on that one. And we've also got a window sticker. A window sticker. Money well spent. 
Time to meet the award-winning program editor and ask him where he gets his inspiration from. I've loads of programs off like eBay and stuff like that, like Premier League ones, Championship ones. I have a look just for ideas and design-wise and stuff like that, and then article-wise. How long does it take you to make a program? Far too long. The season's a little bit cut down version, so not as long. But last season it could be like 12 hours. Not only that, you're pumping nifty with a camera, aren't you? Now, in fact, that's how I got the editor job, because they were like, well, you, you get your photos in the programme, how about editing it? And I was like, go on then. I said, I, I said I'd do it for a year and I'm 10 years later. What's the relationship like with Corinthian Casuals? There's quite a friendship on social media between the two. So we know when we get tagged in one of their posts, because it really takes off. When are the Corinthian casuals going back to Brazil? <gasps> as soon as possible, hopefully. That would be lovely. It would be amazing. Just from experiencing it last time, it'd be fabulous. But of course, we'd invite you guys as well. This is the club gaffer, Tony Reid. Let's find out how much he knew about the club's history before he got the job. Quite a bit, actually, because I actually used to play here as a youngster, as I've grown and then developed my career elsewhere from other clubs this club has kind of grown so you always do keep a, a watchful eye can't not notice but you know about the history as you walk in so you, you just take note of what's happening around the clubs having a presenting connection as well behind them yes it's it's, it's massive what's your style of play I, i'm attack minded i an next striker so i'm all about high intensity pressing ball forcing errors all over the park i will stick to my game plan and, and try and take it to teams and the club have traveled to uh, sao paulo for pre-season friendlies before in the past we'd be pushing that next season 100%. Yeah, I, I, I want a trip. Fancy yeah. trip to Brazil? I fancy a trip to Brazil. I want to check out the carnival. <laughs> Challenge number four is Socrates Special. He famously turned out for the Corinthian Casuals in 1988 when they flew over to Brazil to play Corinthians Paulista in a friendly. He used to wear number eight for Brazil. So if Corinthian Casuals number eight, Charlie Edwards, scores today, we are going to go and buy a brand new home shirt. And you know what? We're going to give it away. Stay tuned to find out how you could win that shirt. And here's Scott modeling the famous pink and chocolate home shirt. You can see the detailed pattern design within the jersey. And as for the collar, they've opted for a round neck. We encourage each other and just keep building on what we're doing already. Yeah? Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Here come Lewis FC down the right hand side. Bit of trickery. He cuts inside, gets a bit lucky, and the ball goes flying over the bar. Back down the right hand side again. It's the same player. He whips in a good cross and Sami Nabad in goal makes a good save. Corinthians on the tap. They play the ball out wide to the guy hiding behind the scaffolding. It's played into Ben at the back post, the captain. There's a shot and it finds its way into the back of the net. 1 0 casuals. Right, so the casuals have just gone 1 0 up. What we did realise there's actually a conflict of interest today. We are owners of Lewis FC. If you've not seen our video, go and check it out. Lewis FC with the free kick on the right hand side. The ball comes into the box. The header goes miles over the top. Free kick to the casuals. And again, that goes miles over the top. Time to grab a burger. So I have already enjoyed a Corinthian casuals burger, but I had a look in the van today and I saw something new on the menu, the belly buster. Now for six quid, you're getting all of this. Look, you've got double patty, double cheese, onions, burger relish on it. Let's give it a try, see what's going on here. Gigantosaurus. Drooling. Outrageous. I've eaten a lot of burgers. Definitely one of the best I've had. Start of the second half, Lewis are on the attack down the left hand side. He makes his way into the box. He crosses the ball. Oh, and he's missed it. But lucky for him, the flag went up down the right hand side for Lewis FC. This guy's got some trickery, let me tell you. The shot, oh, and it looks like it's a great save from Sami Nabad. Casuals with the rare attack in this second half. Lovely little overlap and the ball is dinked to the back post, but no one is there. Lewis played the through ball. This guy's been lethal all game. Cut back, oh, and he's absolutely rattled the crossbar. Back with our man again down the right hand side into the penalty box. Dilly dally, a little bit of trickery, a dink to the back post with the header. Safe hands from Sami Nabad. Lewis FC played the ball out the back to Tom Champion, who has a loose touch and it's picked up by the casuals. Could this be two? Oh, it's a good save. Could he have done more? Lewis FC with the ball into the box and it finds its way into the back of the net. One apiece. Corner to Lewis FC, right at the back post. The header is down. 
and it's ping pong all over the place and casuals get it away. We may not have won the shirt, but we will give away our match day program and club shop purchases. If you want a chance to win all those prizes, all you need to do is subscribe to Location Football and write in the comments section, hashtag up the casuals.